just came up on this foosball table on offer up for about 20 bucks. It's a little rough on the edges, but I think I can get it a little back together, bring it back to life. So you got two legs, two feet missing. I got one of them right here. Just do a little, a little fix. Got a little bit of rust on the rods. So they're a little rough. I don't know if you could hear the... Yeah, it's a little rough around the edges, but nothing I can't fix. Everything else seems okay. Floorboard's actually pretty thick. It's not warped or anything. Just a few stains here and there. Give it a nice clean. Clean the sides up a little bit. Legs have a lot of a uh, have a lot of nicks in them, but probably go ahead and just sand it off and paint it. Same thing with these edges here. Just sand it down and give it a quick paint. Paint it black. Everything else is pretty solid. I mean, everything's pretty functional, so not bad for twenty bucks. came with the inserts for the, the rods and these have bearings in them and these are pretty new so these should be pretty good just lube them up real good swap them out with the original ones and it should be good to go after I sand it so I'm gonna use some of this uh, this uh, I don't know what you call it like some sponge some sponge pad that's used kind of like a fiber pad and then I have some 1500 grit sandpaper I'm not using the 600 and a thousand so I'll hit it with a thousand first on the rods and then a 1500 so I'm gonna go ahead and remove a lot of the screws and all the wood joints hit it with some glue to kind of fortify and uh, make everything pretty solid and sturdy and for all the uh, missing paint and laminate on the edges, I'll go ahead and just hit it with the paint. And on the other side, I don't, I don't, you can see that the uh, this plastic mold's missing. So I'll probably pop this one off too, as it got a lot of Mickey Mouse work here. So pop this off, sand everything down, and hit it with a little paint to kind of mask everything off. And then this bad boy right here, liquid silicone. This is usually what's recommended for uh, lubing these foosball tables on the rods and the bearings. But rather than using WD-40 when sanding to get all the rust off, I'll probably just use this as my, uh, my compound to get all that off. What I'll be doing is using this fiber pad getting all the rust off using the applying a little bit of silicone here and then getting all this off with the fiber pad that should help get some of the rust off and then follow it up with thousand grit sandpaper really really fine gentle sandpaper kind of like a wet sand with the liquid silicone to really all those uh, imperfections and really grind it down just a little bit and get that nice smooth finish finish it up with the 1500. I didn't have any 2000 grit sandpaper, but I think that'll do. Just to give you a little closer look on, it's not that bad of a rust. Not that bad amount. But these things do move pretty rough, so hopefully I can get them to move real smooth. As good as new. Not too bad underneath. It's mainly just all on the outside. It's 
see how it comes out. Pull all the rods out. Finish these up real good. Pulled everything apart. Swapped out most of the rod bearings with these. These have a little ball bearings inside. So these should come out a little better, have a tight fit. And then I went ahead and added some some, just some basically whatever I had some drywall paste to patch that up where all the wood that composite wood was showing and then I'll go ahead and just spray over it sand it and then spray over it with some black paint So I had this two foot by two foot piece of plywood, about a half inch. Cut off the edges, gonna use these to fix the, uh, fix the legs. And then since I was missing a foot, I'm gonna go, go went ahead and cut a small piece from a two by four. And I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole, put a nut in there and mount that onto the leg with the missing foot. These edges didn't come out too great, but since they're black, probably won't be that noticeable. But painted both sides. You can kind of see some uneven surface, but I mean, it's better than that nasty wood look with all the glue hanging out. Also, there were several screws missing on each corner. So I went ahead and added these drywall screws in with some wood glue, because these two sections right here were separating. There was a huge gap in between. So that kind of held it together really well. This is what it looked like before. Those feet were completely missing and it was hollow. That's what it looks like after. Went ahead and put some wood glue in there. Let it sit for a bit. And it should be good to go after to put some, put the other foot on there. So for the ones that I repaired, went ahead and glued that in. It's pretty solid. And I reinstalled this little bracket here with the thread and uh, it's pretty stuck in there should hold up and then for the other one with the missing foot I went ahead and drilled used the drill bit drilled a hole and added an insert a brass insert glued that in there and then that's gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use one of these bolts with that little two by four. That'll be, that'll be one of the new feet. <sighs> this bad boy right here. Installs right in and it'll be adjustable. Kind of a ghetto fix, but it'll do. Won't even notice. And then for the feet, 
I just went ahead and sanded them and repainted them. Kind of match the whole table. Better than that ugly chrome look. Painted them a nice satin black. Table, so far so good. Oiled them up, reinstalled it. All the insert bearings are brand new with uh, white grease. And let's see how much of a difference it makes. Huge difference. Huge difference. Much better. Just to show you guys how rock solid this thing is. This thing does not move one bit. thing is solid as a rock it's not tilt does not shake There's no creaks nothing here's the finished product it's looking pretty good you can see on that far back corner over there the uh, that little 2x4 I used as a foot I painted it black so you can't really tell from the corner of your eye but Everything came out pretty solid. Feels just, feels pretty good. Spins pretty good. Just gotta give it another clean on the, get these stains out. But other than that, looks pretty good. Spins a lot better than when I first got it. Oil these up too. There's that. There's that new foot. I went ahead and painted those guys as well. So it's not too bad. And it's still adjustable. Sort of my ghetto fix. Like I said, not bad for 20 bucks. It's still pretty level too. Too bad.